Of that party scene in 16 Candles might be a real scenario. Drunk teenagers in a trashed home, but a growing number of parents are taking action before anybody shows up at the door. The New York Times recently looked at party hosts demanding signed liability waivers for teenagers invited to graduation and after prom celebrations in their homes. One host explained it this way. I wanted my official responsibility to end at the door. These are all good kids, but they're in high school and you have to lay down the law. CBS News legal expert Ricky Kleeman joins us at the table to discuss. Good to see you. Back nice to vacation. see you. You look good. Thank you. So what are these waivers about? What these waivers are about is that if you are a social host, that is, you're the parents having a party, is that parents are afraid of two things. Number one, as we saw in the movie, your house may be trashed or some damage may occur. But number two is, what happens afterwards? Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility of an accident uh, afterwards? So the social host parents um, are saying, look, I'm going to do the best I can. Yeah. I don't want to be solely responsible here. I want you, kids who are coming into my house, and I want your parents to sign a waiver so that if something bad happens, we're all mm -hmm. sharing the responsibility, meaning we're all going to pay for it. Ricky, I mean, I, I, I like this idea a lot because I have two teenagers. I had 10, 15-year-olds in my house, and they were looking at dropping things off the roof the other day. My question is, what's, <laughs> as, a, as a parent, what's your liability? Well, your liability actually could really be uh, substantial. Um, mm -hmm. What we have to look at is you have both civil laws and you have criminal laws, especially if we're dealing with something like alcohol. Mm -hmm. So what your liability is is the damage that could happen at your home, obviously, or in your building. Where it gets more complicated is after the person leaves. So I have a little bit of advice here. Um, and I think that this is probably the most important thing I can say to you beyond the fact that state laws uh, could really get you into trouble. Number one is should you have the party? Well, of course, if you're a good parent and you want your child wants a party, you can have the party. Number two is Please, look at your state law. You mm -hmm. have got to know what your social host liability is civilly, but you also need to know criminally. Okay, Go are ahead, these Mark. legal waivers enforceable? In other words, if you have yeah. a child mm -hmm. sign one, there's drinking at your house, that person then leaves and gets into a car accident. If they've signed a waiver, are you still liable as you the might social be. party host? You might, might be. be. So what the reason why is the law decides who has a duty. Who is responsible here? And the law in many states, 31 to be exact, has said if you are a social host, you have the responsibility. All these other parents, okay. all these kids, they don't have a duty under the law. Okay, Ricky Clayman, thank you. Great information.